Hello, now we're gonna do your first modification. In this case, we're gonna replace the LED in the hand. And uh, in this case, I try to pry off the, the ring. Uh, here we go. It's pretty easy. You go from the top of the claw, like the finger, which is on top, if you have the arm facing you. And then you pry it underneath it in between the two of the bottom one and it's supposed to go off and I pulled out the LED and if you look close to the uh, shrink tube where the solder is you are supposed to cut it exactly in, on top of the solder spot when it was soldered from the factory it's a bit tricky but like it's not super hard you can pull it out a bit and then you cut it my pliers are a bit uh, unsharp so I have to wiggle it a bit before it will give off, but uh, eventually you'll get it off. Mm. You can see here, we go, we go, we go, we go. And there we go, it gave off. And I pulled off the heat shrink, so we can get the exposed wires. And here we go, on the LED, now it's the polarity fun fact. I marked the short leg because the short leg is the negative, or the one has the they have sanded down or like a flat area on the diode, like you can see it in the black marking. You cut off the legs, and uh, you see it's really unsharp pliers. So you wiggle it a bit, and they give off. Uh, take a heat shrink tube and cut it off too. Um, now you can install the shrink tube onto the wires, I like that, it's pretty much what I would like it to do. Um, there we go, now we're gonna heat up the soldering iron, you need a soldering iron for this one, yes. And uh, you just melt the solder onto the part. I pre-solder it, uh, like I pre-flow the solder on all the joints. Which is like this is a perfect uh, like beginning test to learn out the soldering iron. It's a bit cramped. I would recommend taking apart the hand and remove the wire, but you can do it in place <laughs> like that. That is a decent solder. You can see that the LED works, and then you can start to uh, shrink the tubes. And the way I shrink tube is using the soldering iron. I usually have a lighter or a, a candle to heat them up with, but uh, I don't want to melt the fingers, <laughs> so I use the soldering iron. And uh, the problem was I can't pull the wires back into the hand, so I had to um, take apart the hand. I take a screwdriver from the back side and I pry back the okay, wires a bit. It gives him enough levers to like to push it in, so I just push it in the last way. You might be able to push it in without it, but it, it's just too tight. The diodes is too wide in the legs. So yeah, but it, it works and it's pretty easy to install. So this is a perfect opportunity to make sure that it's in properly. Now we just test out new installed LEDs and see what kind of quality you get from it. They're pretty cool. But I, I have to warn you about flashing image. This is gonna be a really flashy part so I have a need to do, have a disclaimer here. You don't want to if you're epileptic. You can see the LEDs are strongly green. I never thought about when the light is, it's only lighting when you move the hands. If you start to try and uh, do dances and uh, if you try anything else, they will not light. The only lights when you move the hands on the arms. So I hope you enjoy the little do it yourself. And I mean, don't be afraid to try this modification. It's not gonna hurt the robot. I mean, you can hurt it. I mean, I don't know what happens if you short circuit it, but and uh, if you like to modify it, I mean, go ahead. It's your machine. Uh, Soldering iron is hot. You can, you can burn yourself on them, but I don't think it will be that bad. I mean, to burn yourself on it, yes, but I mean, modifying it. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Like, you mean you, you always need to reconsider if you break it. You, you mean you're broken, but. There should be plenty around to forget, and you can buy a second-hand one to modify, and begin with a second-hand one, like, I mean, there was people modifying them when they were new, they paid the full new price back in the day, and today you can find them second-hand, cheaper, so, I mean, from my opinion, it's, it's not really a big risk, you can get buy a new one. <laughs>
<laughs> at least right now. I mean, it, uh, a couple of years, there will be collectibles item, but the white one is not collectible or not right now. This is a original 2004 model, but uh, either way, it's perfectly fine to do this modification. It won't affect the robot or anything. I mean, in the worst case, the LED burnt out. You used the wrong LED, but I mean, it's free volt. I assume you it's free volt. I had to measure it, but I believe it's to be three volt. I mean, five volt will be um, too much. And the engine's running on four volt, but uh, I can't tell you if it's going to be any good or bad. I've seen people installing laser pointers and everything, but who knows? I hope it was fun to see, and. Uh, I should have made a better tutorial, but I mean, at least you can show, you can see how I did it, <laughs> and you can see the result.